Hey guys, so as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be talking about what Kyrie Irving's future holds and why the Chicago Bulls are the best fit for Kyrie. So you guys might be thinking, why the Chicago Bulls? That makes no sense. They already have Chris Dunn as their starting point guard, young, promising young player. Why would Kyrie Irving go to the Bulls? As we know, Kyrie Irving wants to have his own team. He, the reason he left Cleveland for Boston is because he like how LeBron was the leader of that team. Kyrie wanted his own team, so he went to Boston. If Kyrie signs with the Bulls, he'll have his own team. And also, he'd have a lot of young talent around him. He'd have probably the second best backup point guard in Chris Dunn, which would be amazing to have that kind of defense come off the bench. Also, they have Zach Levine, who in my opinion, will be a superstar he's more than a dunker everybody thinks he could just dunk and he's not even that good he averaged like 18 points last year and he only played like and he only played like 24 games last year a healthy zach levine in my opinion would be a 20 point scorer and the bulls just locked him up for another four years which is really amazing so Kyrie would have that young, talented piece of shooting guard. The tricky part is if Kyrie signs, they have to get they have to not pick up the team option on Jabari Parker. He's gonna pay 20 million. And also with Zach Levine con contract and Robin Lopez contract, they won't have enough to afford Kyrie Irving. So that's one bad part. But also, there's plenty of young talent on the team. Players that just listed also Lowry Markinen who was a first team all rookie last year. Wendell Carter Jr., their pickup in the, in this year's draft, did amazing in summer league, and I feel like it's very promising and has a lot of upside. All that combined with Kyrie, a, a superstar, it, that'll be something special. That, that'd be a playoff team. Let's say Larry Marketing becomes a superstar. Also, let's say Wendell Carter becomes, let's say the next DeMarcus Cousins. And Zach Levine also becomes a superstar then that team has four superstars on their team, and that's a playoff team. But obviously, in the next couple of years, that will not happen. That's just a young, improving team, which will be really good. And if Kyrie signed in 2019, I feel like that year they might, they could make, they're, pro, they're, they're gonna make the playoffs. But you guys are probably thinking, well, that team will win the championship in the next couple of years because of the Warriors, right? Yes, correct. But also, when if Kyrie signs, then that'll attract more free agents to sign and that team will just be stacked so anyways guys that'll do it for this video i really hope you enjoyed please do all that good stuff in the description like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm sorry for my upload schedule i just got back to school and that's getting kind of wild i got a collab with my guy mojo 99 coming up so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and peace out